Even now, we still know very little about space, other from a few things that are impossible. Hello and welcome to Z, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today, we'll look at the 10 things you should absolutely can't be done in space to discover all about these topics. Be sure to watch our video through to the conclusion. Should not perform in space, and you should also follow our channel for more fantastic material like today's 10th. If you believe it's difficult to get a decent night's sleep, think again. A lot of kids should try doing it in space. We go around the earth 16 times a day, thus as an observer, I'd like to know how you sleep. It is challenging to be an astronaut. After a hard day at work, you undoubtedly want to relax because it is a demanding profession. Sleeping while orbiting the earth while being held down by gravity isn't really challenging. One significant distinction between orbit and earth is the issues caused by reduced gravity. Sitting down no longer makes sense, for instance, given that some people undeniably enjoy tying themselves up. But in reality, I only enjoy floating when I'm sleeping, so if I had to sum it up, I would good night and turn out the lights. The absence of light disturbs our regular sleeping routines. Signals from our body position during periods of activity and rest, and astronauts must in fact whilst sleeping in space, they tie themselves up to prevent floating around. Within sleeping bags our core body temperature must decrease in order for us to have restful sleep, which is however, even something as natural as resting is undeniably quite difficult. Is extremely challenging when you're up there in outer space sobbing people cry when they're upset occasionally, an allergy or anything that actually got infected could be the cause. Although astronauts don't have that option available to them, they can nonetheless laugh in your eye when asked if he could cry in space as usual, he replied, no, since there is no gravity, therefore sobbing is totally different. Space can you cry in space when your eyes are watering? Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield responded. They stick like a liquid ball and even sting a little, making my eye feel like it is full of tears. Of tears, but as you can see, it only congeals into a ball on my eye. I can add more water, so if you keep crying because you've only made it worse by putting a larger and larger ball of water in your eye. Do not cry unless they genuinely wipe the water from their hands. Space tears can form. A massive clump that transforms into a realistic ball of tears that flies about is undoubtedly really bizarre. Consuming bread in eighth place for the majority of us, eating bread, especially in the form of sandwiches, is natural. Despite being extremely healthy, avocado toast is still delectable when it comes to hamburgers. Since we're on Earth, we can appreciate how our usual gravity affects our food in space. The game's rules alter completely, mirroring the challenges sleeping and eating in zero gravity. Crumbs from bread, crackers, cookies, and other items don't fare well in space, making bread practically impossible. They can float around, fly into an astronaut's eyes, and interfere with crucial apparatus that's why tortillas are used in place of bread on all spacecraft to ensure crumb-free exit from orbit even though bread came in seventh, it would be an excellent alternative for space travel. Coffee Many people find it difficult to begin the day without a steaming cup of coffee, but in space in order to start their admittedly dim mornings, astronauts have discovered different methods. Despite adding coffee grounds to boiling water, water is an essential component of coffee. Due to the high hazard of swimming in water while experiencing zero gravity, a particular for astronauts in orbit, an espresso machine that uses coffee grounds capsules was created. Welcome to the International Space Station bathroom in sixth place utilizing the restaurant astronauts are expected to complete a questionnaire since using the bathroom in space is so challenging. Restroom training program two distinct bathroom mechanics, each designed for a particular when nature calls, bodily functions astronauts utilize a toilet seat with a solid waste design and liquid waste vacuum tube with funnels of various sizes for men and women the majority of us in fact, I prefer to elevate this one as well and use it as the bag's entrance. When we are done with our business, we close the bag at this location, as seen here. Then, of course, as a favor to the owner, we push the bed into the solid waste container. 
What do you think of these things you cannot change for the next individual that we'll put inside a new, fresh bag? So far in space, let us know what you think in the comments. Be sure to watch all the way through as well. You'll be startled to learn what's at the bottom of the list of remaining things you cannot accomplish in space. Alcohol is in fifth position on our list and is more than just a space-related activity. A amusing story is that in 1972, alcohol was banned from most corporate spaces. However, a lot of people learned about this and even provided food for the Skylab 4 trip because Edgar G. Gibson reported that NASA received irate emails over taking booze on a space voyage. He claimed in his letter that astronauts are a symbol of purity and that as soon as such purity is compromised, alcoholic beverages are typically not permitted in space travel, which makes some individuals quite angry. However, space agencies traditionally permitted its drinking, whereas the NASA has been harsher about alcohol. Consumption in the Russian cosmos, both legally and practically, according to astronauts and for very apparent reasons if they are operating a vehicle, cosmonauts are prohibited from being intoxicated at launch. Intoxicated driving in a car is not good alcohol is a serious no-no for anyone operating a rocket or spacecraft, therefore fourth place shaving space travel yes, just like on Earth, several of the astronauts' body parts develop hair. Elements of the body donuts, however, find it quite challenging to remove these bothersome hairs, unlike us. Astronauts use either an electric or manual razor to shave their hairs while in space. Razor or an inexpensive razor given the lack of running water in space, most astronauts opt for electric razors. Water inside the ISS The majority of male astronauts opt to maintain short hair while aboard the ISS because they want to avoid any difficulties with zero gravity and they do not want to see hairs floating. In an effort to get a haircut, they wander around and wind themselves somewhere they shouldn't. Astronauts use a hair dryer shaver connected to a vacuum that collects all the hair trimmings now that we've reached our peak. 3. Prepare to learn about the three most challenging tasks that must be completed in space. When you're in space and brushing your teeth, you may see that something is challenging. YouTube has video guides on how to brush your teeth in space, which is relevant. Since less than 600 people have really visited space, this tutorial isn't very useful for most people. Honestly, it's very difficult to clean your teeth in space. This is how you do it. First, an amazing detail the astronaut uses to fasten their toothpaste tube to a neighboring wall. They hold the drink pouch in one hand and the toothbrush in the other, and they squeeze a tiny bead of water from the bag while also gliding their toothbrush over it. They will immediately, the astronaut will suck up the water, then use their toothpaste to repeat the process. Once they have completed brushing their teeth as usual, they only need to squeeze little water over there. They should clean their brush and dry it with a cloth before packing their belongings. Then continue with their day. Second-rate vegetables, despite the fact that many people dislike vegetables, have recently become very popular due to plant-based diets. Yet in space, veggies such as because astronauts attach veggies to their suits, spinach must be packaged in vacuum-sealed containers. A water distributor and fill the bag with water until the spinach brick becomes textured food. Most likely, you've already seen that in jokes or even at space theme parks. But the interesting part about although astronauts truly adore gardening, space food does indeed come packaged like that. They enjoy tending to and watering the crops because it reminds them of life on Earth. The ability of fresh food to germinate is so alluring to astronauts that they celebrated with salad. When they were successful in growing a few lettuce heads on board the International Space Station, scientists expect to grow beans in space by the year 2021, and advanced planters created at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. Thus, certainly, we will have practical and first-class functional space farms at our disposal washing your hands and performing similar in order to toothbrushing even a basic task like washing your hands might be challenging. On the ISS, astronauts successfully perform by using fluids instead of a shower. They apply liquid soap and water from pouches onto their hair, then rinse their shampoo off. 
To clean their hair, they utilize towels after washing their skin with rinse-less soap and a little water. If you're curious about how they clean the ISS, they utilize liquid, which you should wipe off the surplus water. A vacuum cleaner, dishwashing liquid, disposable plastic gloves, and cleaning supplies they use detergent to clean by spritzing when washing with the cloth, vacuum the dust as well. What do you think of these common things we can do, like using detergent and disposable gloves? Please let us know in the comments if there is anything you can accomplish on Earth but cannot do in space. Click to set on notifications, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our film and will visit us again soon for more fantastic material.